The crucial C's, courage, connect, capable, and count. What are they and why are they important to children? Keep watching and I'll tell you. We all want to provide our children with what they need to become successful. There are certain attributes children need to thrive and flourish, such as the crucial C's. They help kiddos become emotionally prepared for life's challenges. But what exactly are the crucial C's and how do they prepare kids for the future? Courage, the willingness to take risks. Knowing they might not succeed, does your child venture out into new experiences? Or do they let fear stop them from trying challenging tasks? Kids with high level of courage are willing to tackle new experiences and adventures. They feel hopeful about the future and don't give up too easily. Without the crucial sea of courage, children feel inferior and inadequate. To build a child's courage, demonstrate your own imperfections and model to them that it's okay. Encourage their strengths and avoid comparing them to others. Allow them to fail and resist the urge to jump in and help. Connection, the need to have meaningful relationships is our second crucial C. Children high in connect feel secure, making them willing to cooperate and be able to form lasting friendship. Isolated and insecure children lack connection and they seek it out in negative ways. Allow them opportunities for cooperative interaction, such as puzzles or cooperative board games. The link to a few favorites of mine is below in the description. Give them positive attention, schedule a tea party, a ball game, or just sit around and chat. Capable is a feeling of competency or expertise. Is your child a master at something? Or at least do they feel that way? A child high and capable develops self-control and is willing to be accountable for their action. They believe they can achieve anything they set their mind to. There are two extremes of children low and capable, becoming overly dependent or overpowering. Build your child's confidence by encouraging their assets. Celebrate their small successes and help them learn from each mistake. Finally, there is the crucial C of count, children believing they make a difference in the world and contributing to those around them. Do they feel valued by others? When children are high in count, they feel appreciated and significant. They have high self-esteem. Children low in count feel insignificant. To balance this out, they may intimidate others or act superior. To foster count in children, encourage their contributions, even the small ones such as passing the salt at the dinner table. Ask their opinion and really listen carefully to their answers. Small daily acts can continue to positively foster the crucial C's of courage, connect, capable, and count in your child, thus preparing them to bless the world with their many achievements. Drop me a comment below with the high and low crucial C's you see in your child. Extra tip, these are true for adults too. Thanks for watching. My name is Kim Feeney. I'm a licensed independent social worker and a registered play therapist supervisor with Butterfly Beginnings Counseling. I post videos every Tuesday, so subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. If you're interested in more parenting tips and tricks, sign up for my email list. The link is below in the description. Thank you.